Hello everybody, and um, today I figured um, we'd do some more flight plans, um, mostly on um, maybe like VFR, because the one I did just a few days ago was mostly on like if you're gonna fly like an Airbus or a Boeing, and I figured I should probably say what happened when I fly like a very small airplane like a Cessna or something like that. So, this is what I have, it's called Plan G. And it's version 3.1.2.101, it's a long name. And, um, it's very helpful. I think, um, I don't have a flight simulator current running, but you can actually, like, connect it to it and do actually a little airplane thing will move across the whole map and stuff, depending on where it is, and you know. So, I figured we'll do, um, get some quick flight planning for, um, Cessna 172, um, specifically the one from A to A, I guess you could say. Um, I will put a little disclaimer on it because my recorder does not want to record my, um, Chrome, and I will need that later, so I guess you'll just kind of have to excuse that. I have Chrome pulled up right here, and I don't even know if you can see it or not. Let's see if you can see it. No, oh, there it is. Yeah, so we can see. Okay. All right. Anyway, back to Plan G. So, um, today we're gonna do a flight from Bay Bridge Airport with Ski Two Niner to Maryland. Kind of see Maryland here and all the airports around. I will say it's a little bit laggy, and um, we are going to do a flight up to um Newark or not not Newark, Newcastle, it's Wilmington. So, um, we're gonna do VFR, so, I guess we'll, we'll kind of show you with my mouse, because it shows my mouse. So, we're gonna take off. I'm not gonna actually fly this, but we'll just pretend that we are. So, we're gonna fly, take off, turn right, follow this coast up. And when we get to somewhere about here, maybe like, I don't know, probably like the 270 radio. I don't know, we'll figure out some radio from this that will fit. But, I don't know, it's VFR. But you'll, I mean, this is pretty prominent. It's called I'll Connect, apparently. So, we'll, if this is the Susquehanna River going off to the left, so we'll just kind of take the right part of it, and then we keep on going up. And then, if we'll see it, we'll follow I 95 to ILG, but if we don't, um, I will probably just look for it visually. I mean, it's be a pretty clear day if we're gonna fly a VFR, it's probably gonna be pretty good days. So let's plan it. So first thing you do is if you want to start we want to start this Whiskey 29er Bay Bridge. So you right click, so you chose it up and no it doesn't. Uh, maybe it does. Show it? No. Okay, but you right click and I'll say like it says class B like basically says what the airspace is and then under it says start flight plan at airport with ski 29 so you click that then it won't do anything until you add another waypoint so we're going to take off probably i'm going to turn right so the next waypoint we're going to do let's see in just a bit it's kind of end of this cape pencil i don't really know but kind of do it right here will be the next we'll, we'll use a lot of waypoints we click add user waypoint to plan not create a user, user waypoint and then show something different so add user waypoint to plan and then you can see it drew a line hopefully it picks it up yeah no yeah it did pick up the line yeah i don't think it's picking up on my right click oh anyway so then next thing we're going to fly, I don't know if it's kind of hard to see, but there's this kind of thing that's coming out. Well, it's very light though, water compared to the land, so I'm going to end of this cape, add user waypoint to plan. If it does, then that's great. Um, but if it doesn't, oh well. Then next thing, this will kind of fly up the coast basically. So basically up to here, add user waypoint to plan. Let's zoom in just a bit. So this is where we're probably gonna start doing course change. Let's do it at the end of this cape. I'm gonna call them cape so now. Because I don't know. And you know, we do cut into the coast a little bit, but following it. I mean, we're not gonna exactly like this flight plan. 
then um I'm gonna do it right here. So that's next weak point, so you'll know that okay, this is the L connect going to the right of him. Then we kinda go all the way up to like here basically so it draws yeah it's gonna kinda of cut the coast but I mean we can sort of follow it. Then this is round uh I ninety five so you kind of can see I don't know, maybe the runway heading kinda of comes off this and sort of intercepts it right here. So we just fly directly north from this waypoint. So I'll just add user waypoint to plan. And then I'll do direct to ILG. Then we shall do this alternate destination of Philadelphia. So let's so click Philadelphia. Oops. To click Philadelphia. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Add airport kilo papa hotel lima and the web section to that. Alternate. Yeah, set alternate destiny. One second. Alright, but how we do it is we click view and then plan. It shows up and it doesn't. One second. Let me see if I can do something to get it. No. Uh, you probably can't see it, whatever. Doesn't really matter, I guess. It does, but. Yeah, there's no words. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so kind of say, like, kind of like a. I don't know, like. I guess you could say. Um. Kind of a table, maybe? Yeah, table with, like, all your waypoints. I have a lot of waypoints. Seven. So, we just we click on the waypoint that we want to delete, which is Philadelphia. Then we click delete waypoint, click yes, and then it's done, and you'll, well, oops. get back to plan G, there we go, you'll see this red line here now. It's basically saying this is the alternate. And when you actually fly, just click home, and you click this, connect, and connected but I'm not running. And you hear like a ding, you know, like as if you're like plugging like a joystick or something. So it's your plan right here. That's good. That's about half of the thing that we need to do. So this is where it starts coming into like where this plan thing starts becoming really useful. So we'll know what to do about it but Okay, so I guess let's just I'll just do twenty nine hundred. It's like three thousand, probably three thousand. We really need to be interested in. It says in the bottom of the page, or the, there's like a table, and then under it, like there's some information. It says total time is twenty eight minutes. It says total distance is fifty eight point six nautical miles. We need to actually find a second. So let's go to our notepad. Okay, sorry, can't really see much of it. Try to bear with that. Alright, so, oh, it's, it's 58.6. 6 miles total distance. I should probably say total distance equals distance, plus whatever. Anyway, got that down. Done. Then now we go to Google. So let's open up Google here. And the reason why it has a special thing here is because it's the Pluto, Pluto flyby. So that's not what we need right now. So we just click on the search bar and we type in Cessna 172. Range and do that. So I get 736 nautical miles, or just miles, right? So I'll just copy this and open up a new tab and paste that equals nautical. Uh, 
miles. I can type that. And there you go. 639.56. So I just copied that. Again, we shall open up the pad. The pad. Sorry, take a little hard. Is range. And, well, I already know this by a fact, so we need, um, the gallons. We need, we need the gallons. So we have the range. And then the gallons. The total gallons is usable one is 51 gallons. Alright. So we need to do a couple equations here. So, first thing we do is we take our total distance of 58.6, right? 58.6. I'll just write it all out. And then we divide it by, we kind of, whatever, put it over. That's yeah, a fraction. And then we'll just solve the fraction. If that makes any sense. Over 639.567. I have my ca uh, handy dandy calculator. And that is 58.6 divided by. 9.567 is a lot of numbers, so here's what you get is 0 0.0916244. And if we round that, that is somewhere around the lines of 0 0.09, which equals, oops, sorry, equals, long equation, is. 9% great. Now we know that. Well, actually, we don't really need all the 9%, but that's like the total fuel. So, total fuel used is, I don't know, blank gallons, and then, sorry, 9%. Alright, so let's figure out what this gallons is. So we take 51 and we times it by, well, this number. So, that, so, alright, I'll write this all out. So we take 51 times um, 0 0.09. 1 times 0 0.09. Is forty four point five nine? Just very little. Yeah. <laughs> wait. It's hundreds. Yeah. Nine percent. Right. Yeah. It's ten. Hundred. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm making sure I got my math right. Which equals four point five nine. So we can round this. Somewhere along the lines of five gallons. And, you know, I mean, we'll probably even round it up to probably like six just so we have some reserve for like burning fuel and stuff like that. So I'll just bump it up. But real life, probably use seven, eight, seven, right, what, seven. So, there you go, my notepad of stuff. And, Google of more stuff. So Google from from last time. There you go. And Blanche. Let's open up Blanche so you can see. Again, Blanche, amazing tool. Didn't show much about just VFR. You can actually like I think there's like ways that you can get radio off of certain X distances and this and that. It's just amazing what this thing can do. Best part, it's free. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's um free. You can download it. I'll put the link. It's called. I'll probably pronounce this horribly wrong. It's ta software. uk. I'll put that in the description so that you can click on that link like that, and then you can get this and do exactly what I did. Which probably is pretty boring, but whatever. Anyway, see you in the next video, guys, and bye.